Well, they say girls just want to have fun, but looking great and feeling great is also very important. That's why the Cerebral Palsy Association of BC recently put on an exciting event called Fashion Without Limits. The show highlights diversity in fashion as participants with CP got to strut their stuff and show that they are beautiful and unique. The always fashionable Grant Hardy and the Vancouver team met the participants as well as the people behind the scenes that make inclusive fashion possible. Let's take a look. Most of my clothing have, has to be like custom altered to fit me. For model Glenn Brand, having cerebral palsy and using a wheelchair means clothes shopping can be challenging. With shirts, it's a lot of times because I have long arms. Uh, it's these sleeves that are really short. Even though it looks like it may fit me, the arms are really short. Despite those difficulties, Glenn is hitting the catwalk in Port Moody as one of the models at BC's first Fashion Without Limits show, which is organized by the Cerebral Palsy Association of BC. This is a groundbreaking event, and we are all thrilled and honored that you can all be here with us tonight. Executive Director Ferry Detter. So everybody has different idea of beauty, confidence, believing in yourself, self-esteem, stigma. I think we are all going to address that. Beauty needed to be accessible. Uh, fashion needed to be accessible to all people. Model Mohini Takar agrees that mainstream fashion can be inaccessible to many with disabilities. With traditional modeling, you can't really see each part of um, the outfit when you're in a wheelchair. And I guess you lack the confidence because you, you would be the only person in a wheelchair. And also, typically, you would have to wear heels and I don't wear heels. And things like, little things like that make a huge difference. Functional, fashionable clothing is so important. Ambrin Bonnet, owner of Addressing Needs, designs and makes accessible clothes. I don't see people with a disability any different than other people, and so I want them to have access to clothing just like you or I would. I was so excited to see a local event being put on that drew awareness to adaptive clothes. So the show is a great way to kind of show that off. Um, function and fashion and let people know there's a service out there to make things custom for their lifestyle or their dressing routine, their medical equipment. At this year's show, Ambrin has a few pieces that will be taking a trip down the runway. The main item of clothing that will be in the show is an easy wrap. It goes around the body and then attaches at the neckline. The ones in the show have a magnetic button closure, which is very easy for people with fine motor challenges. You're holding the collar right now, mm -hmm. and that's a high, we call it a Merc collar or a high collar, and that goes up to cover the ears, but for the ladies, that won't dampen their hairstyle or, or mess it up. Oh, nice. <laughs> For the models, the big moment was hitting the stage. Glenn's sister, Brandy Barant, was also modeling. I was feeling butterflies, nervous, but once I got on, all got wet away, and I just kind of felt at home on the runway. The models were happy with what they wore. Brandy in a vest and yellow scarf, Glenn in a blue plaid shirt and jacket, and Mohini in a long white sweater vest over a black shirt. Most importantly, models like Mohini felt and projected confidence in front of their community. It makes me realize that I am just as beautiful as the next person, and it doesn't matter um, if I'm in a wheelchair or not. Aside from being a ton of fun, the first Fashion Without Limit show was an enormous success. An incredible grassroots effort for sure. And I hope there'll be another show next year. From listening to the participants, it's clear that events like this inspire confidence. And some of the participants hope to continue in fashion in the future.